Hi, this video is to just explain um, how I include things, which is uh, a, uh, probably looks a little bit foreign to people who um, have only ever dealt with AutoHotKey, but it's a, a bit second nature to the JavaScript community and probably other package management uh, style languages. Um, so in, in some of my, here I'll, I'll break, I'll, uh, Actually, let's leave them all because otherwise the app won't work. So, as we know, you when you want to use a external library, you'll you'll be familiar with this include command. Um, but you might not be familiar with uh, this. This seems to throw people off a lot. This is just defining where to find those uh, uh, libraries, or I call them packages. Now, let's go ahead and look at our uh, folder there. And the reason, uh, okay, so here's here they all are. I'll go ahead and delete them so we just start from a fresh, clean slate. Um, obviously, AutoHotKey started in like 1990-something. Um, and the normal people, or the normal way people go and get libraries is to go online in the forums and copy and paste them in here. And uh, that's probably fine for... You know, your small script that only one or two people use. Uh, but I started having issues where my script needed to run on, like, more than 10 computers. And I couldn't really, like, waste, or I couldn't always just, like, sit down with the person's computer and be like, um, yeah, I need to update some libraries. Um, so let me go copy all those. You know, it's just kind of annoying. And then you can't, you know, you, you make one small change to the library. And then you got to redo it for all 10 computers. It's just kind of uh, time consuming. So um, there's this great, here, why, why is this all? There's this great uh, package management system called NPM. Um, I don't know what that stands for anymore. It used to be node package management, but you can use it for any language now. Or assets, I believe, as well. Uh, but. Um, since I have all of those packages we want, now let me show you. Obviously, this won't work anymore because we're missing our packages. So let's go ahead and do app, and we get this uh, we get this error that it, it's not available. So I'll go ahead and instead of going on the forums and downloading all that, I'm just going to specify npm install. Sorry, it got cut off in in the lines there. Here, let me make this a little bigger so you can see the progress. We get this little um, progress bar. Um, one nice thing about npm is like your pack, like packages can, they can have their own requirements. So this would, if all of those things needed extra stuff, it would go and figure out what everybody needs. Uh, that doesn't work too good in AutoHotKey because of the global scope that it, it kind of pers uh, uh, prefers. Uh, so most of these don't do that kind of thing. <clears throat> but now we can go back into our folder and we'll see that we, we have everything that we wanted. And uh, so that that's just why you see this. Is it's just easier for me than posting in the thread like, okay, you need to go here and download this library, and you need to go to this forum post and download this library, and you have to put them all in a certain place. Uh, in this style, we just define where they live, which is here. And then these are what they are. Now, how does NPM know? Does NPM know to read this? No, it doesn't. It it looks right here for what is required. Um, that I I could go on a lot more, but uh, this is meant to be brief and like, why am I s to answer? This is just to try and answer why am I seeing this? What what's happening? This is exactly the same as any other library. It's just where it lives is also defined. Um, and, uh, you know, also, I don't have to link to three different forum posts. It's just automatic as long as you have this package file. Anyways, hopefully that answers questions. I'm, uh, I encourage you to use this method, but if you don't want to, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, you're free to, you know, I don't really, I'm not too familiar with the, you know, the, obviously if you can make a folder called like, 
Oh, actually, I think it has to be capitalized. Uh, or maybe it takes another word, libraries or something. But I know it will work with this lib folder. I know there's somewhere else in like the C program files that you can dump stuff in. I don't really do those because here's the pro here's I know this is good. I don't want this to be long, but the other problem I was having is like maybe my app works with this old version and I don't want the newest version everywhere. So this is kind of like okay, it works with this exact version. I'm going to keep it at this, you know, exact version right here. This this happens to be called uh, 0.1.8, but you know, I, I would have a I'd be working on like two different apps and then one app needs the newest version and one app needs an older version and they both can't live on the same computer easily in the uh, default way. Anyways, hopefully that answers, uh, hopefully this is a good video to explain that.